Hey San Francisco 49ers fans, today we're going to discuss a controversial issue that has divided opinions among supporters, why the 49ers should consider the possibility of trading Debo Samuel, a player who has been a cornerstone of the team, but is he still indispensable? I've already shared all the details of this intriguing news in this video, so just make sure you're subscribed to the channel to not miss the unfolding of this sad news. Faithful, Debo Samuel has undoubtedly left his mark on the 49ers' history. His journey has been marked by brilliant moments and spectacular plays. However, as he approaches 29 years old, it's inevitable to question his future with the team. With over 10% of the salary cap committed, the situation becomes even more pressing. Previously, Debo was the offensive backbone of the 49ers. Whether catching passes as the primary target or running with the ball, he was a constant threat to opposing defenses. However, recently, his versatility as a runner has been compromised. With the rise of other talents on the roster, such as Christian McCaffrey and Elijah Mitchell, his utility in this position has diminished considerably. Furthermore, his abilities in reversals and variations have been deciphered by opposing defenses. Add to that the fact that his root running ability is declining, making him vulnerable to quality man-to-man -man coverage. Given this scenario, the inevitable question arises. What should the 49ers do? In my opinion, the answer may lie in a difficult but rational decision, trading Debo Samuel. By doing so, the team would make room for other emerging talents and strengthen areas of the team that need attention, such as the offensive line. With Brandon Ayuk, Joan Jennings, George Kittle, Christian McCaffrey, and Kyle Yushtik, the 49ers would still have a formidable arsenal of weapons. Ultimately, it's time for the 49ers to consider the team's long-term interests over any emotional loyalty. And who knows, follow the example of teams like the Chiefs, who would make a strategic decision for the future success of the team. The decision is in the hands of the 49ers' management. And what do you think about this? Share your opinion with me in the comments, and until the next video.